Okay, so now that we have these commands or these tags that are associated, we can now add a new query to our lookup or a new lookup to our search method. So I'm gonna do Q and I'll say tag, I'm just gonna go off of tag I contains, um, much like we kind of talked about and see if that actually provides something for us, right? So intuitively you might think this is what it is, or sorry, not tag.name, but tag title, that's what it actually was. Okay, so that's the name of the model and then the name of the field. Let's see if that does anything for us. I'm gonna refresh in here. And well, I don't have any errors so far. So what if I change it to space? Ah, that's working. What if I type out black? Hey, what do you know? Red, there you go. So it's actually doing that search for us and it's doing it related off of those things. This right here is much like that shell command that we did at the very end, which is not on here, but it was the very end when we did um, dot filter. And we did it based off of some sort of tag, right? So title I contains equals to, you know, black. So it's much like that, but it's going off of the t-shirts that are related to that. Right, so tag set, I'll just make sure this is in here. Okay, so that's really pretty easy, I think. Of course, even in those tags, you can add in some descriptions, right? So you could add a description for this tag and add that to your query. You could add it to that lookup. Now, again, we're not actually returning tags here, we're turning products. So I'm not searching the tag itself to return the tag. I'm searching the relationship between whatever I'm searching and the product itself. So this is only about returning products. That's all this does. And this distinct thing here makes it even better. So what if I got rid of that distinct and refreshed in here? Red doesn't do anything. What about t-shirt? T-shirt doesn't seem to do anything with the space. Ah, t-shirt dash, look at all of these t-shirts. They're the same one over and over again. And that's because of the lookup, the title, the description, it's because of all those things. So once I add in distinct, it gets rid of all that. But now we have a much more robust search in of itself just because of these tags. Now, of course you have to manually add each one of them and then select the products that are associated and that gets a little cumbersome. So we might have to, come back to it in the future. So then when you're in a product, you can just write out what tags you want and that's it. Instead of you know worrying about actually writing out these individual tags themselves. So that's something we still will need to do, but it is a little bit more advanced than where we're at right now. Uh, but now our search function is, is much better. So if I search another one, gives me that t-shirt. Um, if I just shirt, gives me those, that might be a tag that I want, right? So let's go ahead and add it. I might wanna have that shirt everywhere. Let's just add it in as one. And there we go, so I obviously I made up for lorem ipsum. Um, but that also allows me to tag things. If the description and the title was in a different language, I could still tag them in that you know, whatever language I'm trying to tag them in. Uh, that's something else that's actually pretty cool about how these tags would work. And yes, things like YouTube do this as well. So it not only allows for better search, but also for better recommendations, right? So that's another reason to do it. Um, there's all sorts of reasons that you would have tags. And in this case, it was just to have our search work even better. And it was actually really easy to implement once we did it. So what if you went and did something like tag set, like we saw, right? Tag set. Okay, I'm gonna put a pipe there and do tag set and do a search there. It actually gives me this nice little error. It says cannot resolve keyword tag set into field. Here are my choices. These are literally the things I can look up by. Notice tag is there. So what if I just did tag? So I got rid of tag set and just did tag I contains hit save, refresh. Now it gets related field has invalid lookup. The related field is tag, right? So that's the field that's related. And of course it's related to the tag model. So I can't look up a model by 
nothing, right? I have to look it up by one of the fields. So that's where I can do it by the title. I could do it by the ID. I can do it by the slug. I can do it by all sorts of things. And of course, you don't have to use I contains, but you do have to have the field in there. So even if you did slug equals to that, that's okay. You don't have to have these more robust lookups, but you can do it with just something like that. All right, so um, hopefully that clears some things up for you. But now we have a pretty robust search on our system. It's, it's pretty ready for what's coming next. So stay with us.